So that's our mix ready. I've uh, done it to three to one, three sand, one uh, show or lime as we would call it. And uh, the walls prepped. And now we're on the stage of let's make it look better section. So I'm going to start in this bottom left hand corner and work along in rows, probably two or three rows at a time. And uh, I found the best way to do this. I used to throw it in, and I sometimes still do, depending on where I am. It's sometimes easier to throw it in uh, than it is to slide it in with a, a trowel. But I now use a trowel more. One, it doesn't make your arm ache so much, and uh, it's pretty quick. A lot of people always say, oh, it's a pity you don't do something like um, an icing gun that you use on cakes, or a gun that you can buy to fire it in. You can. But the cost of fortune to buy, and I mean, you know, a lot of money. Uh, also, you have to keep refilling them. They're not that much quicker. They're probably just a little bit easier on the arms, to be honest. And I can do this. I've been doing it for so long now that I can do this quickly and efficiently and correctly uh, just by the method that I use. I'm certainly not going to go out and buy uh, a gun. Uh, we're talking of major money there. So this is the best way to do it. Yes, it would be great if it was some sort of uh, plastic bag you could put it in and squirt it out. But you've got to get it deep into the crack. And uh, when I fill it, it will actually come a little bit over the front of the stone. So that when it's dry, I can rub it off or it's almost fully dried. I can rub it off to the desired effect. So yeah, I'm going to start in this corner, work my way along and upwards. Let's start making it look better. Okay.
mix down and a few more to go. Uh, say one mix does about three rows, uh, sometimes four if you're lucky. So uh, yeah, this will take about one, two, three, three to four more mixes. Uh, I think I've got enough sand. I've definitely got enough show because I bought a bag yesterday. Uh, the sand, I have to go to a completely different place to buy it because they don't all sell white sand. So uh, yeah, I should have enough uh, to finish this wall, hopefully by the end of the day. I'm not gonna, <clears throat> I'm not gonna film it all uh, because uh, you've probably all seen it before and uh, me going up and down these rows is pretty boring. So I'll uh, catch you later, cheers. See, I'm uh, two thirds at the wall, and it's now just gone four o'clock. And it's really best that I don't do any more because we're going out this evening to some friends. And by the time we get back, whatever I put on now will be rock hard, and uh, I won't be able to get it off. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give this another half hour, an hour, and then I'll brush this off and uh, then carry on with this tomorrow. So yeah, see you in a second when I start to brush it off. Cheers everybody. As I've said before, the secret is to brush it gently. Don't go mad. If you go mad, you'll take too much off. Just brush it back to the desired effect.
is in it. Oh, he's got his finger on there, right? Uh, yeah, if you want to put your end down there. If... <sighs> well, I've had a clean up and uh, managed to get about five bags of uh, dust, sawdust, uh, mortar, rubble, or whatever, in bags and out of the way. You just seem to be chasing yourself around in circles with dirt and dust as you get it clean, more dust and dirt appears because you do another job. but. Uh, we have had a bit of a clean up, believe it or not. So today, I want to uh, put a rail across here so that the worktop has something to rest on. And then uh, we're going to do a dry fit of the water tank. This water tank has caused us, not problems, but just a headache of deciding where it's going to go. We don't have a, pro a problem uh, here in France with uh, the water tank being downstairs because the pressure is so high. And I've spoken to a lot of people just to confirm that having it downstairs will not be a major problem of getting water to the showers and toilets upstairs. And they are all confirm it won't be even a plumber across the road. We've probably thought about every room in the house where this water tank could go, including under the stairs, above the stairs, in the ensuite, uh, in every corner of this room. And what we've decided, um, which is probably the one I wanted the least, but it's really the most practical, is that this tank, which is a 250 litre tank, is going to go in this corner. We have a stand for it. The reason we're putting it in this corner is the water inlet pipes are just on the other side of this wall. They can come through and straight into it. We've got the electrics in this corner as well. So the tank will stand somewhere up here, but I'm going to box it in and try and make a feature of it so it does look an eyesore. So that is the plan for this morning. Obviously it won't go to plan, nothing ever does, but uh, we'll see, uh, see what it looks like once it's in this corner. Okay, watch and have a laugh and I'll talk with you later. Cheers everybody. tilt it forward a bit because the it's sitting on the cable. So need to that's it if you want me to that I can 
feed the cable through, so it doesn't chop it. If I rubble underneath, I'll be able to get it better. There we go. They are right. That's it. We won't live all there. Be happy. No. No, but <laughs> I've got to. Right. So. And then it's got to push into the corner, hasn't it? Yeah. Good. Okay, that was not too difficult. No, it wasn't actually. Not easy than I thought. Go space it. Yeah, thanks for watching everybody and uh, hope you enjoyed the vid. If so, please give us a thumbs up, <clears throat> leave a comment below and if you haven't already, consider subscribing. Um, hope you've enjoyed it and uh, we will catch you on the next one. Take care everybody. Cheers.